Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, welcoming you back to part 14 of Let's Play Shining Force 2. And we're going to continue onward. And we're going to go this way, and we're going to go over this little bridge, because there's nothing over here except for... Smithril! That's really all that's over here, which is kind of ridiculous. And who would think to search there for Mithril? Like, there's nothing else over here. At all. But because there's a bridge, it's kind of special. Alright, so now we go up across this bridge. And then we go over to this little mountainous range here. So over to this little mountainous range here. Then we go up here and into this cave. This is the cave that they were talking about. Mount Volcano through this dark cave. And everyone's like, oh my god, this cave, this cave fight is so difficult. It's not really difficult, and I don't really know who all says that this cave fight is so difficult. I've never heard anyone say this cave fight is difficult. And we have the Hobgoblin and some bad guys. And this is the thing. You just see what's in this little sphere. But you can look around. You can look around and see the terrain around you. And you can also use the map feature to look at the terrain. It looks like a giant question mark. And then you see all the little flashing lights of where everyone is. So it's not that difficult. It's... I... Yeah. Alright, so... Hobgoblin. He's... He's the boss. Middle axe. He can kind of hurt. Everyone else is crap that we've already dealt with. Which is hobgoblins. Or, uh, hunter goblins. Dark dwarves now are, are standard. So, yeah. And then we'll go this way around the choke point. And it's not even that big of a map. It really isn't. The only thing is, the Dark Dwarves at this point can kind of mess you up. So you want to be careful about them. But everything else, eh. The Bats have the AoE spell, and they're really the only thing to worry about here for AoE. Uh, freeze for Witches can still kind of hurt, but Dark Dwarves melee attacks are going to be your... Your primary concern starting off, everything else is just kind of eh. It's like you fought these guys before, you can fight them again. Not that big of a deal. And we get the, the cave terrain background, which is kind of cool. Alright, now they're going to come forward and start beating the crap out of me. Oh, you little bastard, you're not supposed to get two hits. But, hey, I'll take a counterattack any day. And... Bowie for the kill. Good job, Bowie. And... Heal you. I don't want any more pesky double attacks to end your career as a knight. And I have not resurrected Kiwi. I forgot to do that. Oh well. I don't like Kiwi. I really don't. He's just kind of in the way. I'll resurrect him when I get to the next town. I should have gone back to Ribble to resurrect him, but I'm I'm a lazy bastard. I really am. This is just... Jaha takes about as much damage as he does on average, and Jaha can actually attack. And I've got Peter the Kill Stealer. It's like, I'm just... No. No, we're not... We're not messing with that. We're lighting people on fire is what we're doing. Alright, who's close to 13? Jester is 13. Kiwi's... <laughs> Kiwi's dead. That's just... That's gonna entertain me for... Probably the rest of this video, honestly. Alright, Bowie, you go in. Kill something, why don't you? 
I, I, I love the kind of surprise that happens when I go, Holy crap, I just killed something that I shouldn't have been able to kill in one hit. Yeah, yeah, tech Bowie. That's fine. It's not like Bowie can rip you apart with his bare hands at this point now. I am Bowie, hear me roar. Once he gets his next sword upgrade, it's gonna be even worse. Alright, and May for the kill. 11 points of damage, May. That's, that's fantastic. I believe you can use the power ring to give the, uh, the effective boost, which attack, uh, ups your attack and agility, I think. I think. I don't know. We can try it. Only downside with using items is they can crack, and if they crack, then they are no longer usable. Which we don't want to do, because we want to have that effect. You can repair them, but it costs an ungodly amount of gold to repair most items. Like, it's so not worth it. Alright. And you two are just gonna... Oh. Apparently in a cave, May can move well, but in a forest, she's useless. Yeah, you attack, Slade. With a melee attack. God, I'm fighting retarded enemies. You guys are just special. Oh, I, I really wish I could upgrade Jaha's axe. I, I really miss him being able to just destroy things. Not that he can't, you know, put a world of hurt on him at the moment. But I miss, like, that first and second fight where we had him and he could just... Yeah, pretty much do whatever he wanted. Which was really fine by me. Move you there. And Slade, please level. Oh, damn it, Slade. You did the exact opposite of what I wanted. You didn't level. Alright, now we're getting into a little bit of a dangerous spot, because... <laughs> no. Bad bat. Bad bat. He's got another little friend over there, too. Alright. My guys could level up any time now, and that would make me a happy camper. It's like, no one's leveling. They all must be ridiculously close to leveling, though, which is good. Yeah, the Hunter Goblins are now a joke. Once you hit 13... I'm not, I'm not even going to use Blaze 2 on you, I'm just going to use Blaze 1. Because you're not worth the MP. You probably even weren't... Really weren't even an attack. Alright, Slade. Do something useful. Like, level. Well, I should have known better than on 7 HP or 7 XP that he was going to level. That would have just been silly. Alright, and I need to heal Kazen. Heal Slade. Thankfully he wasted it on just one person. Kazen for 7 HP yeah Peter you just hang out back there doing you know nothing see if I really care Peter's so freaking useless right now, it's... It almost makes me cry. Almost. And stab you in the face as retaliation! 
Stab you in the face twice. Slade wanted you dead. And... Heal Slade. And now everyone's up to full. Well, mostly. I'm sure someone may have, like, a point or two of damage. One bat's gonna cause problems. I just know it. Alright. No, let's look and see who's... Uh, you're almost 13. You're almost 13. You're not anywhere near 13. You're... I could hit you with a rock. I could hit both of you with a rock and you'd level up. Take my two level 13s, move them forward. Don't really want to put May on the front, so we'll move her over there. Yeah, yeah, let's... Let's have fun with that, shall we? Awesome! Just what I wanted. Roasted Dwarf. But you know what? Two can play at that game. My magic is cooler than yours! Because it actually does damage! You're going to level off this one. Not gonna kill him though, which is good. That means hopefully I can get Mayan to kill him. Oh, I love it when the game actually listens to me. Kill him, May, and May levels. And you're gonna heal. You're gonna heal our good buddy Jaha. You're not gonna level off this. I really don't think. Didn't think you were that close. Nope. Jaha, on the other hand, is going to hit you in the face with an axe and kill you. That's just. And that that was fantastic. That just that was yes. And who else? Kazen, Sarah. Kazan and Sarah. My mages. That's fine. Because Kazan's gonna get smacked in the face, is what's gonna happen to him. Which is alright. Bowie, come up. Hit him. In the face. No, I want... No. No. And heal. And that's how this is really just gonna go. And Sarah's now 13. And now all we have to do is... Kill the Hobgoblin with Kazen. I don't think Fire... Fire 2 might do it. Yep. Critical hit. And Kazen's level 13. That! That! And he learned to spell. Awesome. That is how you do this fight. And now we continue onward. There's nothing in this cave that I know of. I don't think so. Some of these caves have treasure chests. Yeah, haha, -ha, there is a treasure chest. And that's... Oh god, is that useless. That's another promotional item, and we'll talk about that. I mean, I've got time. Alright, and here's where we want to go. This is Polka. Everyone do the Polka. Apparently no one in this village could defeat the Hobgoblin. 
It's like Spider-Man's worst nightmare. Alright, so we're gonna resurrect Kiwi for 90 gold. And then we're gonna save it. And I will... Actually, no. We're gonna go buy items first. And then we're gonna save it. Because I've got... I've got man, I, I want to budget these out to be about 20 minutes now. First, we're gonna go over here. He's fallen and he can't get up. Are you a wimp? Push harder. Good, good. Smack! We've smacked him so hard he changed species. That's fairy. And we will have to deal with fairy later. He's like, she has to test us. He must like you. Can't tell you who he is. Alright, so yeah, that's... We'll deal with that in, in due time. And weapon shop. What can we buy at the weapon shop? We can buy a new sword. We can buy bronze rods. And that's it. We've already got the dagger. The, the long sword is really all we care about. We've got a hand axe for Jaha. We've got the wooden arrow on May. We've got a dagger. No. Is that a new axe? I think it isn't. A new axe. Let's see. Was that a new axe? Nope. Hand axe. Yeah. Same axe. So yeah, all we can do is buy a sword. Because I'm not going to buy weapons for... My mages. They don't attack. It doesn't increase their spells attack. If it did, then I would totally buy it. 620 gold goes to Bowie. I might buy them later, but for 360 a pop, that's uh, just not worth it. And buy a couple more healing items. Because Jaha, I believe, is out. Yeah, Jaha's out. And... That's it. Alright, so yeah, the Silver Tank. Silver Tank will promote an archer to a brass gunner. And... It is a, it is a tank. When they say Silver Tank, it's like you... It's kind of hard to see, but it's like a little rolling piece of artillery. So, um, the Silver Tank promotes them to Brass Gunner, which doesn't affect their attack stats in any way. It does affect their movement. It lowers their movement by one. So it's not something you want to do. Brass Gunners kinda suck, unless you spend a lot of your resources on making them useful. It's just so much easier to promote an Archer to a Sniper. And there are two Archers that we can get that we can give this to. I may promote one of them to a Brass Gunner, but probably not. Um, I'm only going to be using one of them anyway. And we get a Brass Gunner as a part of the group anyway, later in the game. So, I don't know why we really care. Alright, uh... That's not who we want to talk to. Uh, Mount Volcano is home to the Beastmen. And they've forgotten how to fight. We want... There's one Beastman in particular. That's who we want to talk to. Pursuit! Because I'm a beast man? Uh, I'm not hairy enough, though. I envy those hairy guys. He's kind of weird. That's Jerhalt. And we are going to love Jerhalt later on. So, yeah. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it. <laughs> I need to keep telling myself this. And I will go ahead and end this episode here. And I will see you all in our next installment. Till then, later, everyone.